Hi everybody, I'm Juliana and I'm going to teach you how to build your very own upcycle bucket drum so you can play with us. We had so much fun exploring different objects, but these that we're going to show you are the ones that we chose in the end. There's an easy and a more advanced version for you to choose from. You can go off and explore finding something completely different on your own. Watch the videos with the tips I'm going to give you. Have fun! This is the simplest way to get your drumming straight away and it's more about exploring rather than building. There's so many objects around our house that we can get sound out of. When you're exploring, what you want to look for is an object that you can get two sounds out of. A high pitch sound and a low pitch, like this one. And if you want to wear your drum like we do in Katumba, make sure your object sits well against your body. So here are some examples to inspire you. Here is a bin, a plant pot, a bowl, and a watering can. But you can go wild and look for something completely different and even decorate your object. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, so if your drum bucket has a handle, we're going to remove it as we're not going to need that to play our drum. We're gonna start by building the first layer of skin on the opening of our drum. But this is where if you want to make your drum wearable, you need to go off and watch our how to wear your drum video. Make sure you do that and then come back to this. Like, see my bucket? It's ready to be worn. Now we're gonna build the first layer of our drum skin using packing tape. Very simple, we're gonna start at one end of the drum, make sure that that packing tape goes right under the rim of the drum. And you're gonna stretch that tape, really put some tension into it, straight across to the opposite end of the drum, like this. We need the tape to be really quite tight and even slightly stretched so we get a really good sound on our drum and off our drum skin. So we're gonna repeat this all the way around, crisscross way to make our first layer of the drum skin. Here you go, once your first layer is on, you wanna make sure that there are no gaps around, just give it a little less check Press it down slightly so the tape really sticks to each other and around the rim to make sure it sticks to the rim as well and is really secure. Now we are ready to build the second layer of skin on our drum and we're going to use duct tape or gaffer tape. Now don't worry if you don't have it, you can just do a second layer using packing tape again. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing we did with our first layer. And once we finish, we wanna do a final check, making sure there are no gaps, pushing lightly down again to make sure that the duct tape or the second layer of skin sticks to the bottom layer. And same again, pushing it down beneath the rim all the way around. And we are ready for the next step. Next, get your drum decorated, have fun with it. Use different types of materials. You can even use recycled materials, upcycle them like we did with our drums, different types of paints, depending on what object you chose. Have fun, get creative. For all information on tuning with Katumba, including activities, timetable, and how you can get involved, check out our website at www.katumba.co.uk forward slash tune hyphen in.